Welcome to the MidwestSports.net channel. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thank you for joining me on the summit. And also with me at the top of the summit is a person whose team is at the top of the NCCAA Hill. It is Coach Mitchell Sowerby, the head coach of the Mid-America Christian men's soccer team. Coach, first off, congratulations on the victory, a national championship in your first season as the head coach at MACU. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you for having us on today. Coach, uh, your team comes away with a victory 20 and 3 and 1 on the season, but you win the games that count really at the end, a central region championship in the NCCAA tournament, and then you move on into pool play, and it all culminates with a 5-0 victory over Grace College in the championship match. Talk about that. Yeah, so I think as we uh, as we got into Florida and started the pool play, I think we were just continuously getting better each game and kind of hitting our stride for the final game. Um, Grace College were amazing in the final. They really tried to play. Um, but on the day, I think everything kind of went our way. The ball was hitting the net. We were having fun. Um, and again, we just built up for that moment. And the boys have wanted that from the very first moment. We got together a preseason, so they played hard for it. Coach, Five goals scored in the match, and, and you come away with the with the uh, shutout as well. Four different players scored, including Alan Serrato, who put in two goals on the day. And to get that kind of offensive production, I know, was a very big deal. Yeah, so, again, it was going our way in the final. Um, we had four different scorers. We talk a lot about being unselfish on our team. Um, so everyone kind of looks for the passes, doesn't matter who scores as long as we score, um, and I think that's shown through the season. I think we've scored over 90 goals this season, um, so we all, we're always confident we can score, um, and then obviously getting the shutout was a huge deal for us as well, because it's something we pride ourselves on. Um, I know we spoke a little bit earlier, and you were talking about the season itself, and there were some ups and downs along the way. Of course, only only three losses on the year. But we had a chance to visit preseason as well, and you said that you knew this team had potential this year. Yeah, so we had a lot of players returning um, that had, had been there and done it previously in the previous year. We had great players coming in that had been recruited, um, a good coaching staff put together, and then the support from everybody on campus um, just culminates to, to make a winning team, in my opinion. Um, and... They bought into what we wanted to do early on in the season, and it's shown throughout. Obviously, a couple of losses in there, but you need them to kind of test you and see what you're made of. Coach, you talk about support on campus, and, and that's one of the things that, that I have seen from where I am, that uh, the support from Mid-America Christian University for all of its uh, sports and in the athletic department, I mean, it, it's just universal, and you do get good support from the program and, and from the university itself. Yeah, so we get support from from everyone you can think of. Athletic director, president, um, staff, teachers, other sports teams, other coaches. Everyone just wants MacU uh, to do well and wants wants to put a good show on for MacU. And we talk a lot about playing for the badge, playing for the university. So obviously winning, it's good for our team as well. But we also do it for the people that support us um, back here at MacU. Coach? I know that uh, over the course of the season, again, you talked about the ups and downs, but specifically, let's let's look into the national tournament itself. You get a 3-2 victory over Piedmont International from North Carolina in pool play before you go into the, the final part of the bracket. And following that game, uh, you find out that you lose Simon Van Reeden for the season. Talk about that loss and, and how your team really just gelled even that much more to come together for the championship. Yeah, so Simon is a huge part of our team, both on and off the field. He's a great leader, lovable guy. Everyone knows him. Everyone loves him. Um, so when we found out the day after the Piedmont game that he, he was kind of in a little bit of a bad shape, um, we had to get him sent home straight away. Um, and that kind of pulled the team together because he obviously left saying, like, you've got to win. You've got to get the rings for us. Um so he left knowing that we were going to be national champions, um, and we the boys kind of came together and stepped up a little bit more and played a little bit stronger for him because um, it just shows you can't take things for granted. Um, so he's obviously in our prayers, but he's obviously back home a national champion right now. That That is a big deal, and it's a great story in and of itself. You talk about being back home. For Simon, where is back home? 
Um, so back home to Simon's Netherlands um, in Europe. So obviously he had uh, some long flights, um, and but he made it out there safely, and he's back home now with his family, um, and he's got all the support and love from us here and his family back home. So we'll know he'll get well soon, and he's a strong kid, so he'll keep smiling and being positive through it. <laughs> And he's a national champion on top of that, so that, that'll bring a smile to just about anyone's yeah. face. One other thing, too, that, that I think Warren's mentioned, Coach, regarding that is, you know, you talk about him encouraging his team. The, the Evangels never allowed another goal from that point on. Yeah, um, so the first game, actually, um, we gave up two, um, but like we said, we just kept getting stronger and stronger, and we, we talked about wanting to keep clean sheets and not get scored on because obviously um, that can win games in and itself. Um, but I think when we found out that news, um, it just added a little bit of extra fight and determination in the boys. So they ran a little bit harder, gave a little bit more. Um, and obviously if you're doing that and winning individual battles on the field, um, it's a good recipe for success. All right, Coach. Um, I want to um, look here at something really quickly. Yes. Uh, Let's see, do I get to support? I get to support. I get to support Macu here uh, on the summit. So there you go, playing for the badge. Does that does that look right? That's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, supporting the Evangels here, Coach. One last thing too, and and this is something. This you're not the first person to come through Mid America Christian and in your first season come away with a national championship. I mean, Coach Gamblin did it in basketball. Uh, a few years back. So this seems to be a habit. I would imagine that uh, you all are setting quite a precedent for first-year coaches to come to Mid-America Christian. Uh, yeah, so obviously Coach Gamblin is a great coach. Um, but I think that just goes to show kind of the AD we have here, the president, the hiring staff, and just kind of what they value. And, and they obviously gave me a chance, gave me a shot, and I think it's turned out okay right now. Um, but I mean, credit to them because they keep taking chances on young coaches and the young coaches are just hungry and willing to reward them and do everything they can for the university. So obviously I'm grateful for the opportunity here that, um, that they've given me. All right, Coach Mitchell Sowerby, the national championship winning coach of the Mid-America Christian Evangels, champions of the NCCAA, 23-1, and one, the final record on the season. I saw the rankings, by the way, that you all are ranked number two. I think if you win a national championship, you should be ranked number one. That's just me. Uh, we, we may just keep that right here. And number one in my books, anyway. Coach, thank you very much for joining me on the summit today. I really appreciate your time. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, folks, please be sure and like and share this video, especially Evangels fans. Uh, national champions, here we go, national champions, Evangels fans, and subscribe to the channel Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you, and have a great day.